guys see from Cali Brown this preseason that made you want to bring him in? It was more what he's done the last two or three years, to be honest with you. He came here on trial in 2015, uh, went to Pittsburgh, uh, did really well there, kind of followed him the last two or three years, and then always had an eye on him uh, as one of the young guys to come in and compete. Um, but obviously you see how big he is. He's got good range, gets down well for a you know, big goalkeeper. Uh, technically, he's a little bit better now than he was before, so he fits in real well with the group. What are some of the things that you look forward to working with him on and, and really elevating his game to be of what you expect out of him? A little bit better communication out of him is what he needs to, you know, that needs to sharpen up for sure. His feet need to get a little bit better. Um, but, you know, my job is to make sure that he gets in good positions, makes good saves, and helps us in an attack when he's called upon. What is the program like for somebody that's the third keeper? Is it moving to S2 so he gets some game rhythm? Exactly, S2. He'll get S2 games. We'll probably, you know, play Meredith in some of those games as well. But definitely, you know, uh, S2 games help develop his game as well and help with those some of those things we talked about, the communication and organization as well. How similar or different is he from Steph and Brian? They're all different, right? They're all different, all different sizes. They're, you know, he's, you know, you see him, he's big. He doesn't move as well, he doesn't move as quick, but he doesn't need to be because he's already in good positions with that size. So um, he's just different. So there's a typical cliche about long keepers up that they can't really reach down low. How do you work on that? Well, for him, like, you know, to answer his question earlier, like how different is he from Brian and Steph, you know, maybe a ball that Brian can get down to with his hands. I want, you know, Cali not to, you know, rely on his hands as much, you know, tight balls and, you know, in and around his feet, just make a kick save. You know, you rely on that. But if it, the ball's far enough out and you got to go and, you know, attack with your hands, then I want him to do that as well. But he can't get down the same way as Brian and Steph on. So. Do, you find, do you find that you have a different perspective on – goalkeepers in general then maybe like he comes in with not a ton of experience you obviously saw something in him uh, do you find that you uh, that happens often where you see something different than other people may have seen oh for sure I think we all we, we, yeah for sure and for me it's 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 it, can I work with him can I get him better is there something there and that's for me is 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 the, is the challenge and um, you know if they're willing to work I'm gonna sink my teeth into them and try to get them better so you know I see something maybe someone doesn't see in him but you know, I see a kid that's willing to work and get better. So. In terms of youth, uh, finding a, a goalie is a same, it's as hard as finding a midfielder or a forward. I, it's it's all difficult, right? Finding that guy that can fit in. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm trying to find someone who's going to push Steph and is going to push Brian, but also is going to develop. So it is difficult because when you start going down the line of goalkeepers that are available, yeah, you know, and who's going to fit in what we do, it it is difficult to find that goalkeeper. Have you seen anybody in the academy that can? Take that place. Yeah, I mean, we've got a couple good young kids that are coming through the academy program now. A couple of them are in the university. So, you know, those are guys we keep an eye on. Um, you know, we've got one kid in particular that we're really keeping an eye on, see if he keeps developing, but that's two or three years down the road before he gets to us. Trey Muse had a really good year for Indiana last yeah. year. Um, do you know what's going on with him uh, this year and uh, what do you? Uh, I hope he's still in school. <laughs> you know, I hope he's still in school and taking classes so he's eligible for next fall. You know, but uh, we're keeping tabs on him. We're in contact with him. Hopefully, we'll have him out this summer, training with the first team, and see how much he's really developed. But you know, for guys like that, for goalkeepers, you you got to get games. You've got to play. It's not like you know, you, it's the most important thing is getting games. It does no one any good to come as a young goalkeeper and just sit and not play. You know, but you got to develop and you got to keep getting pushed, and and that's the position. In that sense, how much does S two help? your job and, and being able to have an extra keeper basically on staff? Big time. I mean, it's S2 is huge for what we do. I mean, it's I, I'll go right, you know, when they play, I look at their film the same way I look at Steph's film, and we'll break it down, and we'll look at different things they did well in the game, things we need to work on. Huge. It was huge. And, you know, Tyler Miller's development, he needed those games. Charlie Lyon, any young goalkeeper we had that played here needed those games. They would not. They would have developed to a certain extent by just training, but they need those games. They need those competitive games. So S2 was, was massive. For, for what I do with the guys, I need those games for them.